Hello boys and girls. This week we're starting with a quiz. Look at the pictures I show you. How many of these things can you do? Give yourself a point or a tick for each thing that you can do. You can pause the video if you need more time. Question number one. Can you put your own shoes on? Number two. Can you do 10 hops? Question number three, tricky one. Can you stop the rain? Question number four. Can you hold water in your hands? Another tricky question, number five. Can you stop the sun shining? Number six. Can you stand on your one leg for a whole minute? Question number seven. Can you do 10 star jumps? And the last question, number eight. Can you stop the wind blowing? It's chicken dance time. We're gonna do one jump this way. Are you ready? Here we go. Are you ready to bounce? Everybody jump, jump in the house. Everybody bounce in the house. I can walk, I can run, I can hop, I can kneel, I can dive in the sea, swim like a seal, I can dance, I can jump, I can do the splits. I'll listen walk, I can do a legs like Everybody this. in the house, jump, jump in the house. Circle. 
time for our quiz results. Number one, give yourself a point if you can put your shoes on by yourself. I think you probably can. Number two, well done if you could do 10 hops without stopping. One point. Number three, I don't think you could stop the rain, so no points. Number four, yes, it is possible for you to hold water in your hand. One point. Number five. God made the sun and I think he's the only one who could stop it shining. Number six. Well done if you stood on your leg for one minute. One point. I know you all like doing star jumps, so I'm sure you could all get a point for this one. And the last question, number eight. I don't think we can stop the wind blowing. Look, it's blown the umbrella inside out. Well, how did you score? Did anyone score eight out of eight? I don't think so. If you scored five out of eight, you got every question correct. Well done. Full marks. Can you think who is the only person who could do impossible things like stopping the wind? Today we are going to discover more about our powerful God. Joe is going to tell us a story from the Bible. It's another story by Jesus' friend Matthew who remembered things that Jesus did and wrote them in the Bible. Hello everyone, it's really lovely to um, be with you all again today. Today I'm going to read you another Bible story from our big, book, big story Bible book. And it's, today's story is called Jesus Stops a Storm. Let's go for a sail in your boat, said Jesus to his friends. The water was lovely and calm. They pushed the boat away from the shore and the water was still. The friends started to row, and Jesus fell asleep. Then dark clouds came in the sky. Jesus was still asleep. The wind started to blow. The waves got bigger and bigger. Jesus was still asleep. Then the storm grew rougher, and the lightning flashed. Jesus was still asleep. Then the thunder rumbled and the friends were really frightened. Jesus was still asleep. He shouted, Wake up, Jesus! We need you! Then Jesus woke up. The boat was rocking. Jesus stood up. The storm was really noisy. And Jesus spoke. Be quiet, said Jesus. The wind stopped blowing. Be still, said Jesus. And the waves stopped slushing. And the storm just stopped. Jesus said to his friends, Don't be frightened. I am here. You are safe with me. Then at that moment, they knew that Jesus was a very special person. Indeed, he could stop the roughest storm. Jesus, Jesus could do things that no other person could. Wonderful Lord, 
wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near. I can lie down and sleep. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, you are my shield, my protector. I can lie down, go off to sleep, knowing you're watching over me. Wonderful Lord, wonderful God, help me to trust you forever. I need not fear, cause you are near, I can lie down and sleep. The disciples loved Jesus very much, but they didn't realise quite who he was. They realised he was more than an ordinary person when the wind and the sea did what he said. Jesus had done something that only God could do. Imagine you were sitting in the boat with Jesus. What was it have been like to be in the storm? What would you like to say to Jesus? Let's just finish by praying. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that when we are worried or don't know what to do, you can help us. We can talk to you anytime we want to. Thank you for calming storms. Thank you for giving us your peace. Amen. <laughs>